Happy Sunday, everyone, and happy Halloween. Hopefully this mask here didn't scare you too bad, or did it? <laughs> Anyhow, um, on our exit video that we made whenever we were closing up shop for the season, you know, we talked about um, doing YouTube videos and stuff. And so one of the things that I wanted to do was um, when we started to do the construction of the new shop and just our journey of you know getting the shop ready and stuff we wanted to bring you guys along um, and just kind of take you on the journey with us so uh, I really wanted to start with the construction of the shop but that process went super quick and I didn't really seem to find time to get videos and stuff of it I think it took a day and a half maybe to put this building up um, and a lot of it was done during the week during the day and so I was doing my full-time job. Um, by the time I would get done with that, I'd come out and help the crew with whatever I could, and then we'd work until, I think both nights we worked until eight o'clock at night, just trying to get this building done. Um, so I didn't really get much of a chance to capture the, the construction part of it. I know I put some pictures out there on Facebook. Um, so hopefully you guys got to see that, but we're gonna start this video off. I'm just gonna give you like a, a very short tour of what's going on so far on the inside. Um, progress is slow, um, you know, it, it's it's crazy um, in the world right now and it's just, it's taken forever to get materials, um, waiting on materials and the cost of materials is, is out of this world as probably a lot of you know. So it's it's a slow process and we kind of knew that that was going to be the case with everything that was going on um but anyhow we wanted to uh bring you along just kind of give you a short tour kind of show you what's happening so far in here and just go over a few things and and keep you guys up to date on how this uh this build is going so let's go take a look all right standing here in the shop we're just going to do a little pan around of course you can see the the front there, um, going around a little walk-in door. So some of the pictures you guys saw was this plywood stuff going up. So these little sections are just where, you know, we're going to be hanging, um, you know, like pressure washer stuff, vacuum stuff. A lot of the stuff that we hang on the wall, we wanted some, you know, more structure to it. So we're putting up the plywood there. Uh, it'll get some type of coating on it to make it look more visual visually a pleasing than just the plywood but that's what those those are there for so far we're just scanning around not much like i said not much going on right now this back here is going to be our focal wall um we are going to have uh, shop cabinets and stuff up there and a bench and do some cool little stuff up there on the front um ran out of wood so it's not finished it'll go up to where the insulation's at and then the next section past it. Um, so that's what that there is for. Got our electrical panel in. Um, that's kind of what we're waiting on at the moment. We gotta get some electrical cabling for that. Um, and also the outside panel that is gonna connect to the city power. Um, so that's the next big project right now is getting that cabling and getting all that installed so we can get power in here. And then going on around, we got another wall there. Um, so this, this is actually going to be our wash bay. And the other one is going to be the interior bay where we do all the cleaning and stuff. So that there is where pressure washer and stuff will be mounted on the shelf. Um, everything that we use, you know, to, to do our washing and stuff will be mounted on that uh, wall over there. And then we scan right around back to the doors. So, um... We got most of the lighting, or I would say 70% of the lighting up. There's, we got LED shop lights throughout. We got three rows of them in the ceiling. Got, uh, I think we're gonna end up with 11 total. Um, where you see these little angle supports, each one of those is gonna have a two foot LED light on them. 
And then the columns coming down will also have LED lights, a four foot section of LED light there. And I won't go too fast so I don't make you sick. And all these supports over here will have them as well. And those, um, some of you may ask why all the lighting, um, some of the new stuff that we're gonna offer next season, um, you know, requires us to be able to see stuff on the paint when we're gonna do our paint corrections and all that stuff. So that's, that's the purpose of all the lighting and stuff. Obviously it won't all be on at once, but when we need it, it'll be there. Um, these front doors, if anybody knows somebody that does good, I guess, graffiti work or paint work, kind of one of the ideas that we were thinking of was doing like the two dudes logo, big logo on those doors. So if anybody knows somebody that paints real well, either graffiti type paint or just regular, let us know because we're kind of interested in putting the logos on the door, on the back of those doors. Um, the walls will eventually be finished. We've got insulation on the outside. It was an R17 insulation that was included in on the building. Um, that's what all the white that you see there, it's all throughout the walls and the ceiling and stuff. Um, it helps with, uh, it has a vapor barrier on it and also uh, R17 insulation as well. So, um, but the walls will end up with white metal coming up to the bottom of these supports. So we'll have white, basically just like what the building's made out of, just white metal that's in between there, along there, along this back wall, basically everywhere where there's not wood, we're gonna have white metal on the walls. So you kind of see how that all, a nice little gas pump there, that's gonna be a decoration for outside. But, so we'll have a metal up there eventually. Um, so right now, our big push though, like I said, was getting the electrical done. We gotta get, that in first, we wanna get most of the outside work that you know needs to be done for the electrical, get it done before it gets too cold. I'm sure the city people would appreciate you know, not having to come out here in the middle of winter and hook up electrical. So we're trying to get that done. Plus we kind of need that once it starts to get dark with no electricity in here, it gets a little bit hard to work. So that's gonna be our next big thing, getting that electrical up and then uh, working on the walls and then starting to run, um, you know, electrical outlets and everything that we need on the inside. And then finishing up the wall treatments that we're gonna put on these. Also, the concrete is gonna get a treatment as well. It's, it's kind of a, like a black stain is what's gonna go on it. It, it kind of does like a marble, marble look with the concrete. Um, it's not just gonna be like a solid black, it, the way the stain reacts with the concrete. Um, some pictures that we've seen of it actually in place at you know, some example buildings and stuff. Looks pretty cool. So that's what we're gonna do there. So again, we're gonna have our wash bay over here. Interior bay gonna be over here, so. It's gonna be nice. Um, all the vacuums and stuff are actually gonna be on the wall, mounted on the wall or up somewhere on that wall with just long 30 foot hoses, you know. So the days of having to drag out a shop vac, extension cords, all that stuff are, are by the wayside. So I'm pretty excited about that. But again, this process is going pretty slow. Um, you know, there's still a few things that I got to button up on the outside, um, but again, the, the biggest problem is just getting materials, the price of materials, um, you know, waiting on stuff to come in. It's, you know, if any of you are doing any projects right now and, or, you know, probably know somebody that is, you kind of, kind of know that that's the thing right now is just everybody's waiting on materials so um anyhow yep that's that's it so far so hopefully you guys enjoyed that short tour um 
you know, my goal was to have a video put out at least once a week. Um, I'm not sure that we'll probably get that done. Um, sometimes it takes week, two weeks, three weeks to get stuff in. So, and I don't want to make content of stuff that I've already showed you. So as we start to make progress in here, um, you know, I'll, I'll save up and make sure we got enough to show you guys for the next video. Um, but yeah, that is basically it. Um, pretty excited. Uh, I don't, I know we talked about trying to open up at the first of the year, but I'm, I'm just going to be honest with everybody. As long as it's taken to get materials, um, we're also trying to stay within a certain budget because we don't want to have to borrow any money on this um, because we only do this on the weekends. Um, you know, the we just we don't want to go out and get a loan or borrow any money to to do that. So basically, we just want to work on this as as we can with the money that we already have allocated. So it that's taken time as well because prices are ridiculously high right now, as a lot of you know. So. Anyhow, as we get stuff going and we get more stuff up, um, we'll, we'll do some more update videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It wasn't much to see because there's not much accomplished right now, but that kind of gives you an idea of what we're looking at. Um, and, it, and it looks odd. You just got a couple sections of plywood up here and there, but I, I promise you as the shop starts to come together and we get things done, it'll, it, it's, it's going to look good. I think it's going to, it's, it's going to look nice, but it's going to function even better once we get done with it. it. Hopefully it'll help speed up, you know, you know, our process of cleaning the cars and stuff like that. Having things a little bit more organized, not so much stuff in the way that you always got to walk around and trip over and all that stuff. So I think it's going to be good. It's just going to be take a little bit of time to get to that point. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one. Oh!